When we work with shapes, circles come up quite often. Circles are not polygons though because they are not made up of a set of edges. Instead, circles have their own unique set of properties. To start with, circles are actually made up of an infinite collection of points that are all an equal distance from the center point. When I go to name my circle, I name it by that center point. So for example, circle A could be what we refer to this circle as. When I start measuring on that circle, I can measure from the center point. If I measure from the center point to the outside edge of the circle, I've measured the circle's radius. We can abbreviate radius using a lowercase r. If I want to measure between two points on the outside edge of a circle, then I've measured a chord. There is one chord that we use most often though, and that is the circle's diameter. The circle's diameter is the longest chord because it measures from one edge through the middle to the opposite edge of the circle. I can abbreviate diameter using a lowercase d. There is a special relationship between the circle's radius and the circle's the diameter. Since the radius measures from the center to the outside edge of the circle, we can say that the radius is worth half the diameter. So radius is diameter divided by two, or radius is one half times diameter. The diameter measures from one edge through the middle to the opposite edge, so we could say it's worth twice the radius, or diameter equals two times radius. When I go to measure the outside edge of the circle, I can't find the perimeter because I don't have that set of edges. Instead, measuring the distance around the outside edge of the circle means I'm finding the circumference. We can abbreviate circumference using a capital C. To find circumference, I can do 2 times pi times my radius, or I could do pi times diameter. Both ways are going to give us the same result. Let's put all of our parts of a circle together. To start with, we measure from the center point. From the center point to the outside edge of the circle is the circle's radius. Measuring between any two points on the outside edge gives us a chord. The longest chord is the circle's diameter measuring from one edge through the middle to the opposite edge of the circle. Measuring around the outside edge of the circle gives us the circle's circumference. <laughs>